Good morning friends. We are with the sixth video in our series of We Bought Tutorials. Today, after these many basic videos, finally we will learn how to make a custom robot from scratch. And this is an output which we accept, expect at the end of this video. So in this we will add distance sensors and we will also implement an obstacle avoidance policy. So let's start making a robot. So first of all, we delete it. So now we choose base node as robot because we want to make one. Then we go in children. And in this, first we will make the base of robot where we go and define a shape. And in this shape, we have appearance as, and we saw that body was green in color. So let's keep the same color code and have body green in color and our metalness to be zero. Now we will have a geometry of a box because in geometry we select box so we can see a green box. Now let's customize its size. So in x direction we'll have it as 0.1 in y direction 0.05 this can be anything. These are just numbers and point two. So this is a base of our robot. So it's point one by point zero five by point two. So it's point two in Z direction. And now let's save this as body. And we go in bonded objects and use this shape. And in physics, we use physics. Perfect. Now, this was about body and base of our robot. So now we need to add wheels. So we'll go in children. We'll go in add. In base, we will add hinge joint because in VBOTS, we use hinge joints uh, to have a rotary or linear motion. So in hinge joints, we will have joint parameters as hinge joint parameters. We will have device as rotation and motor because we need to rotate our motor in order to have translation in robot and at end point we will have a solid defined solid and in this solid we will have a child base mode shape because we are going to have rectangle in our shape, uh, have cylinder in our shape. So in shape, in appearance, we'll again have PBR node. And in geometry, we'll choose cylinder. So we can see this cylinder. Now we'll tweak the dimension. Let, let's keep height of cylinder to be 0 0.02 and its radius be 0 0.04. So we are and we are not able to see the cylinder because this contained inside the body. Now 
So in endpoint we have a shape and let's name this shape as wheel so that we can use it for further again we'll use wheel for the bounding box and we'll, we'll define it. physics of wheel as physics underscore wh so that if we change one parameter one physics object from a wheel it reflects in all other wheels so now we will add a translation because we are not able to see the wheel and if we do 0 0.06 in x direction and 0 0.05 in z direction we can see the wheel in correct translation but its rotation is wrong let's rotate it about z direction 90 degrees so this takes it in radian that is 1.57 so yeah we can see a wheel here this wheel is in correct position let's color it red in color so in endpoint in definition we can have this as red in color so 0 0 and metal mesh should be 0 so that you can see a bright red color now after this hinge joint we are done with one wheel we just need to replicate this for other wheels So now we take this in joint, add it for other wheels. So we'll do it quickly this time because it's the same process. We take joint parameters as parameters, device as rot rotary motion, and point we define as a new solid. This is the same as in previous process then we defined child as wheel because we previously saved it also in bounding box we use wheel and physics we use it as physics of wheel so this is another wheel but we are not able to see it because we need to have correct translation so point zero six and zero point zero five but we need it in that direction so we'll have minus zero point zero six and we'll rotate about z axis ninety degrees one point five seven yes so we are done with the second wheel similarly we'll add third wheel so we'll go to hinge joints in hinge joints joint parameter is hinge joint parameter device is rotational motor and end point is a solid where we have child children as wheel and same with bounding object will be wheel use wheel and physics as wheel physics so we need to have the correct translation so this time it will be 0 0.06 that 0 and again 0 0.05 but in negative direction and rotation is 0 1 1.57 and last wheel we are blessed that cars only has four wheels 
so we'll use hinge joint so hinge joint will add one more hinge joint use hinge joint in hinge joint we'll have joint parameter here hinge parameter device as rotary motor and end point as solid and again now we probably know the translation 0 0.06 minus 0 0.05 so both minus this time so the fourth quadrant and rotation is 0 1 1.57 Yes, so bounding object is wheel, children is wheel, and physics is wheel physics. Yes, so we are done with the robot which we saw in the video and this is all for today's video we will save this robot and oh it's perfectly aligned on the ground so it's a good job so we'll continue with the distance sensors in the next video and we'll have a controller in the following video so stay, stay tuned. If you like the video, do share and subscribe to Soft Illusion. Thank you.